two points. I mean, but our side's playing particularly well. We're scoring good tries. Um, you know, in yesterday's game, I, I really thought, like, their first two tries, North Sydney, we were playing particularly well. We had a man sent to the sin bin, and uh, Nathan Wood came off, was forced to reshuffle in the side, and they caught us snapping with a couple of tries, but uh, we, we struck back and, and got ourselves back into the game. And then in the second half, I thought we started really well, and they scored two tries against the flow of the game, and uh, they got out to a good lead. But to our credit, we never, came, we never gave in, and we came after them, and, uh, uh, you know, as it was, we scored five tries to four, but didn't get the money. Gus, you, you must be happy with a couple of your players. Go, Billy. I don't think I've ever seen Tony Iro play as good a football, and also Graham McCoy on the wing, the blockbusting test winger of a couple of years ago, is certainly back to a bit of form. Yeah, he is. Graham, Graham played the early part of the season with broken ribs um, at a time when we needed people on the field, and uh, his form suffered as a result. Uh, he had a couple of weeks off, had a couple of runs in reserve grade, and his, his last two or three performances have been back to his best. Played improving all the time. Peter Clark, uh, young Nobby Clark's brother, he's... Uh, uh, he's had a stint with Manly, he's come across to our club um, for an opportunity, he's played first grade most of the season, I think he's scored 9 or 10 tries, now he's having a hand in another one. Well, this little fella, oh. I'm going to give him a wrap, Nathan, uh, uh, Nathan Blacklock, now he's uh, uh, the nephew of Ray Blacklock for those people who used to follow Penrith and Newdown, uh, Ray Blacklock a former great winger, and uh, this fella's his nephew, got all his speed, all his skills, and uh, came on for the first time in first grade yesterday, uh, scored a try and uh, was really active the whole time he was out there. A couple of blokes uh, I'd like to talk about. Tony Iroh's uh, probably having his best year for a long time. He's playing good, positive football. He's heavily involved, more than I've ever seen him. And also Peter Jorgensen. I like the look of him on the wing. Yeah, Peter's uh, a rugby union convert. He, uh, he played the first half of the season uh, in reserve grade. Had an ankle injury and that, that inhibited him a little bit. And he's played the last two weeks with a broken hand, so he's tough enough for the yeah. game. He's, uh, um, and very dangerous as well, you know. Uh, a couple of little inexperienced things let us down yesterday as they have against the, the good sides, but in a rebuilding year, I'm really happy with the way things are going, and uh, I can only see a bright future for a lot of those players. Tony Iroh, he's been our best player all year. He really has, and uh, he set himself a goal last October to play test football again. He hadn't played test football for five years. He was rewarded with a New Zealand yeah. jersey the other night. And, and uh, played well too in the test. He did play very well, and backed up. I mean, he backed up 24 hours later. We put him on the bench, but he had to come on when Nathan Wood got hurt, and... Uh, uh, he played 75 minutes yesterday and played really well. Jason Larry too, I mean, backing up after after a couple of test mm. matches, and especially in the front row, he's done an enormous job for us. We were really surprised Jason Larry played Friday night.